Alright. So we're making some sort of progress now. I'm going to go ahead and save it right here. Just in case more bad stuff happens to me on the way up to the Wharf Master's office. And believe me, it will. Oh, it will. But, uh, first of all, we get some proximity mines, which we may or may not be using right now, because I am totally not sure about taking on that big daddy, um, with our very limited string of supplies. But, uh... We can use that big daddy to defend us right now. Rock him, sock him. Yeah, just follow me through here, big guy. Just a little bit. Please take care of her. Thank you. Whoa. Uh, I saw that. And I think I need to be very careful about how I'm going to take on this turret, because I need that turret for something. I need the turret to take care of you, actually. Hang on a second. Around this corner! Whoa! Don't do that. Thank you. Alright, that's a little better. Now I'm suddenly not so sure I should have actually done that to you, but what's happened has happened. I really can't do jack crap about it. I'll just come down here later, I suppose, and clean up the mess. So there's a Rosie down the... Woo. Oh, wow! What a great shot! I must compliment that splicer on being able to love a grenade directly in my face twice in a row. Wait a minute. Okay. As long as you didn't kill them, that awesome little thing, I think I'm okay. What the heck was that? <laughs> oh, that was epic. Code 5380 to something. I caught that amidst all the random gruntle yelling. Whoa! Not right now, thank you. Um, Big Daddy, can you move? Can you... I'm just gonna slide past you. Like this, thank you. I... you didn't see me. Yep, so in case you didn't notice, there's a reason I hacked that turret. Um, when we need to back up out of an ambush, because we might come across a little bit more of what we just saw up in the Warpmaster's office, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go play with them anymore. Yeah, I do, and I don't want to play with you right now, so, blah. Alright, anyway, we're about to get to a um, rather interesting part of the level where we have to deal with a lot of security cameras back to back and you can't hack all of them um but you can hack most of them if i remember correctly okay so there's a security camera up there if i remember right i already saw it anyway um we got telekinesis to get one of our frag grenades um and I'm going to try taking out these security cameras in any way available, actually. Which, um, may include proximity mines, may include frag grenades. I really don't know right now. Hang on. Uh, how am I going to take out that one? Nope. Mm. 
Yeah, you can't even get up there to actually hack that one. So, best thing to do is get caught by it like a dumb. Like a super dumb, 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 dumb. Never get caught by security cameras. It's such a waste of time and ammunition. Come to think of it, um, this is the one part of the game where the uh, robot buster, I don't even remember what it's called, that tonic that lets you blow up machines easier is very useful. Once he was just a menace to be convicted of But he always manages to be where the evidence isn't. He's the most dangerous type of hoodlum. Coming up the vision. Welcome to the circus of value! Ah, come on, one health kit. That's all I can get, seriously. Alright, I might actually be able to hack of this one. Yeah, it's right around the corner. A couple crates. Um, I don't see any extra loot. Okay. Dwarfmaster's office. Yeah, this is going to be a barrel of fun. The research camera looks just like what you'd see topside. According to this magazine article I scrounged up, it can also analyze genetic information, pass biological structures, and lots of other five dollar words. That's why he wants it, because it's pretty powerful in that respect. Okay, turret over there. Um, this is going to be a lot of ducking and weaving. Uh, I've got two Electro Bolts, or two EVE Hypos that I'm probably going to be using on just Electro Bolts, and four health kits to soak up the damage. So here we go. No point in just sitting around waiting. Get back. Oh, please don't shoot at me. I need you for stuff. Thank you. Okay. Alright, that's good. That's good. That's good. Good start. Um, let's see. What we got here? Oh, I didn't even notice this. Wow, I could have died rather easily. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Um, okay. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We have turret down there that I'm going to have to hack really quick. Okay. That's turret number one and turret number two. There's one turret over there. Splicers are literally going to kill themselves as time goes on. I think every time you hack a turret, one actually spawns, but if you do it... If you if you do these two first, then you have very little to worry about. Oh god. Hang on. Yeah, just take care of that problem for me, thank you. It's one less Electra Bolt I have to waste. Whoa! Don't kill me! Okay. Hang on. Where was that noise coming from? Oh, it's that one! Okay, that noise was coming from a turret over here. Only it's not just a turret, it's a turret and a camera. Okay, this is gonna be fun! Oh god! Maybe I should go... Turret... 
camera. And double hack. Alright, that's both of them. Is there any more? Is there any more in here? Did I get every single freaking one of them? I think I did. I think I actually got all of them. And if I did get all of them, then I need to save, because that is good. That is extremely good. The only security camera, or turret we didn't actually hack was the, the one over that one which way. Toilet. Swirly, swirly. No, I didn't want to turn the sink on. And the green, mystical green, that I don't know why that was green liquid. Um, okay. So let's loot this corpse, because I think there are a lot of dead bodies over there now from people just coming in after me. Grab some health kits. That's always good. It's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. Go ahead and open that up. Um... Yeah, look at all the bodies over here, by the way. This is pretty much... <laughs> this was going on while I was hacking everything, I'm guessing. But, uh... This first room is really, really nice. I This is like one of the few places in the game that I actually feel completely safe in after everything is hacked. Because those turrets... When you first come in, they're like, Oh my god, they're gonna kill me, but... Once you set up a pretty good perimeter, um, it's a quite a nice feeling. Turrets are a blessing and a curse at the same time. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see what's in here. Hello? Oh. Apparently there's one more that I just completely forgot to get. Come on, let me hack you. Wanna hack you? Wanna hack you? Wanna hack you? Wanna hack you? I know I can hack you. I see it popping up. There we go. Okay, so there's that done with. There's an ass ton of machine guns in here. Oh, grenade launcher! Oh, a friggin' safe. Oh, there's so much badassery in here. Hanging now, is it? That's what we've come to now, look. I don't make the laws here, I just enforce them. But I didn't come to rapture the string men up with running contraband. If Ryan and his crew have their law, then they can have my bag. Oh crap. Hang on. Nah, too late. Damn it. Somehow managed to pull this one out of the fire. I'm not really sure how. Ooh, I got heat-seeking RPGs. That's the third ammo type for the grenade launcher, and probably my favorite one. Um, for blind firing around corners, it's very, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Alright. So is everything taken care of in here? I'm pretty sure it is now. I got everything in that one wall. Okay, I think we're safe enough to head back to the Warpmaster's office and go get that security camera.